today we are going to talk about a very different type of a blade here. It is a Yacht Commando style tried edge twisted blade dagger knife called the M48 Cyclone Boot Knife. Some of the specs of this uh, unique and interesting looking knife. Uh, we've got an overall length uh, about uh, uh, 5.75 inches blade and that's 14.6 centimeters whole length of fixed dagger it's 10.5 inches 26.7 centimeters long we've got a blade 2 CR13 at 48 hardness it's designed by United Cutlery overall weight on this guy we've got 13.4 uh, ounces 380 grams and uh, what makes this unique if you look uh, Yacht Commando the micro tech style Yacht Commando in German means mountain hunter so this twisted blade uh, knife if you look closely uh, this style knife I will let's cut to the chase this is not this does not look at first as a very practical knife in a sense of using this as a tool as an EDC knife there is absolutely no use zero use and I explain you why well if you look at this shape at and uh, try to guess the purpose of this knife this knife's purpose is to inflict a serious and uh, permanent damage on an attacker military special forces guys are taught when stabbing an enemy with a plain edge knife when you stab you twist the knife but with this knife there is absolutely no need of twisting uh, because the way these blades are shaped, this uh, tri twist is shaped. If you are, if you stab an attacker with this knife, the penetration is instant. It goes right away, much deeper, and the wound results in it's horrific. It causes horrific wounds like torn organs and the release of a lot of blood you would need a team of surgeons very dedicated tough surgeons to try to put a stitch on the wound inflicted by this knife and that's if you are lucky this knife uh, creates much more damage than any other form of conventional knife or tactically DC knife uh, just because of its design, the blade design, the twist and uh, yeah, you, you can, and by the way, if, if you twist this knife on while, when stabbing an attacker, if somebody twists this, this knife, this can result in uh, uh, disemboweling someone and um, tearing up all the insides. Uh, this, again, this knife does horrific permanent damage. Overall, overall, um, yeah, it, it's got also a glass breaker. I don't know what's the primary use of glass breaker, but I think for legal reasons, when they sell this knife in states and countries, when you can, the glass breaker supposed to make it look more like a survival tool, or put supposed to put some more uses in this knife. Um, these are. The handles are uh, fiberglass uh, reinforced uh, nylons and uh, we've got a stainless steel grass breaker and hand guards here and um, the chassis is aluminum. Overall, overall uh, this thing is clearly designed uh, to either kill the attacker or do a permanent damage. Uh, 
this is uh, this is not your regular carry knife in some states i think you can't even purchase in some municipal in some jurisdictions you can buy this knife but only keep it at home as a display piece like this guy and some jurisdictions will let you allow you to have this knife in a backpack sealed in your car trunk so if you're interested for a collecting reasons to own something like this as a display piece uh, make sure you know your local laws and uh, uh, also to tell you the truth this knife will probably sit in a display shelf for years to come so I so exactly for that reason I don't see a reason buying that one two or three thousand microtech uh, real deal uh, knife the York Commando designed by Tony Morfione you could have under around 50 bucks the well-made uh, cyclone boot knife that looks basically is identical I would say um, it's a clone of Microtex Yacht Commando this is the overall review of this knife I don't know if I can call it really a knife this is a knife type well yeah, it's a dagger type of its tri blade knife that has a, only one purpose to be used in self-defense when your life is in danger you have no other tool and this is the only guy to rely that's the only use at picnics hunting taking outdoors or even keeping it in your car absolutely zero use for this knife it's an interesting piece though for any collection